What's up you guys, it's your boy Johnny Cash. We're here at my shop, the Painters OV. So today is part two of the video on GMC Weecho's truck. Uh, I didn't get to record the full process, but I'm gonna give you guys a little update. This is part two. Let me go ahead and show you guys what we're doing tonight. All right guys, so this is a quick little update on Weecho's truck. We went ahead and did the complete bodywork on uh, Weecho's bed. We installed the new cladding for my sponsorship over at Street Concept, which was this one. And also the one over here is installed, primered, everything's blocked. As you guys remember on the, my last video, this, this corner right here of the bed was really messed up. And then this area right here was like kicked in, like if he got rear-ended or something, I don't know what, what happened, but we strained it all out. Uh, so it's got primer. The reason why the primer is because we went ahead and sent me a sample photo of how he wants me to do the tubs, which is right here. And that's exactly how I'm going to be doing them. On the rear bumper, it's already masked uh, because I went ahead and already sprayed the silver on the step pad. And then the tailgate is completely basically stripped. All the hardware and the locks are gone. This one, everything's good, sanded, primered. As you guys can see on the hood as well. Silver's already shot. We went ahead and masked the silver. We're gonna get ready to shoot the custom color that we did is one out of one. There's no formula, no color code, no nothing. It's one out of one. It's a crazy mix that we did. And we added more pearls to the paint because that's what the customer requested. This side is all blocked off and ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the color that we're going with this. And hopefully you guys like how it comes out. You guys a little sneak peek of the paint. Check it out. Look at all those pearls in the paint. It is a gallon. This one's one to one mixing ratio and the reducer that I'm gonna be using is going to be fast, but check out those pearls in it. As you guys can see, there's no label, no uh, nothing on this whole different ball game. And you could see those pearls. Look at all that. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up right now and then get the spraying. So this is what I mean when I explain to you guys what's a one-to-one -one mixing ratio. So right here on your cup, you would go to one part paint, one part reducer. So on the first four, you go paint, and then on the second one, you go reducer, and that's how you mix your paint. So that right there is one part paint, like I mentioned right here on the floor, and then I will go to the reducer all the way up to this line number four. All right, Johannes, four coats later, I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek, a little update. The truck is coming out nice. Uh, Wicho, he's gonna like this truck, man. It's coming out very, very nice. Let me go ahead and show you guys. All right here we have the SS rear bumper from Street Concept, two-tone. The step pad is silver, and then this is a custom color, the purple. This is just base coat only. Then we have right here the bed. We painted the tailgate jam because uh, the previous painter, whoever painted this truck, did not paint the jam at all. It was actually the original color of the truck with overspray. And then it had like a, like if they were to have like a gallon of house paint that spilled, that was running through the whole side. I forgot what side it was, but we went ahead and sanded that down. We shot the whole jam, as you guys can see. Uh, the tubs right here got painted right here. These two, I still gotta shoot this middle one right now. And then this one and that one, that one right there, uh, that one's gonna stay like that because that's what uh, the customer requested. This side right here, it's still flashing. That's why it looks kind of wet. The jam on the cladding got painted. This whole panel, the wing, um, the wing, the whole tailgate got painted. The jam inside of here as well. Can't forget about the bottom. Uh, still need to shoot another coat. Right here, the hood is a uh, two-tone. As you guys can see, silver V, the HD caps, uh, silver, bam. 
This side right here got painted as well. That side, and we can't forget about the top piece right here, got painted. Here's the passenger side. So far looking so good. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and continue spraying this one right here. And then after that, let it flash off and go ahead and go, go ahead and shoot the clear coat and then dip, go home. So tell the channel what's next, Chulo. So we already tackled out everything. Next, we should be shooting the clear coat. Yep. So we went ahead and tackled out everything, all the parts, got the little dust nibs, any dust particles off the parts. Uh, we took the, the tape off. We took the tape off all the silver parts. Uh, we're gonna be shooting some high solid, high solid clear coat. This is how everything's uh, turned out. Check it out. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna shoot the clear coat. After that, go home, no chulo? It's kind of late. But anyways, we're trying to get this truck out, out of here ASAP, return back to the customer. So crunch time is real, right, chulo? Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and shoot the clear now. Damn, when I say this shit is wet, this shit is wet. What you think, Chulo? Oh, that's Look at that. Rear bumper. Look at this side. Inside of the tubs and doghouse. Got the tailgate. The hood. Hell yeah, time to wrap it up. So it is the next day. Well, a few hours later. Check it out. Look at that reflection. What you think, Viejon? Shit, this shit came out pretty wet. Pretty wet, no? Yeah. Fuck yeah, look at the rear bumper. Nice. They should have done this since, since the beginning. Paint the, all these little details and then from here back and then from this line right here back and then from here down, all bed liner. Bed liner in here around the design. This one didn't get painted because that's he didn't want this one painted. As you guys seen the way that he requested, these were not marked up, just these right here. And then bed liner from this line down, all the way down tailgate came out clean the hood kind of dusty because my workers uh doing some body work right there but hell yeah I like how it you like it I can see myself the reflection yeah the right reflection's here. good reflection's a1 got my messy hair right there nice Anyways, we're gonna end part two of this video right here, you guys. Like and subscribe if you're new. Comment down below what you think on uh, Weejo's truck. Did you guys like the color? Let me know what you guys would do if it was your truck. Anyways, make sure to like, subscribe, catch you on the next one, peace.